I did a water change recently and a couple of things happened and I wanted to share it with you, so I put together this quick video. I drained the tank about 45% down and then replenished it with new salt water. But what I really liked were these really cool reflection shots. So once the water basically touched the coral or the anemone or whatever it was, I took a picture. <laughs> and you know, I also got a couple of shots from above showing all the corals exposed to the air, which only lasted about 10 minutes. But it really is kind of cool to see things uh, without the water to throw off your angle. Uh, you know, as you look at each of these images, I mean, the, it was just so finas fascinating to stare at. So after enjoying this really cool thing, <laughs> it was, you know, basically time to get more water into the tank. I actually didn't know how far down to drain the tank for this water change to the point where I'd have enough left over to refill it completely. So I changed about 160 gallons that day. The thing that happened that surprised me was this. So what you're looking at now are a bunch of baby brittle starfish. And what had happened was all those corals were exposed to air for about 10 minutes. And when I put the water back in the tank, which was basically matched exactly to the reef, there was a lot of slime coming off the corals because they'd been exposed to air. They were using their protective mucus. Now it's all flowing off. And I thought, all right, whatever. But the starfish, <laughs> they were doing something entirely different. And if you look closely, you'll see these guys are coming up to the highest point they can get and they're spawning into the water. So I just thought, well, isn't that ironic? I changed all the water, and, you know, a whole bunch of water in the tank to make water more clean. And then these guys fill it all up with their sperm. <laughs> so the whole tank was cloudy for a couple of hours because of this. And I mean, what can I say? I'm still glad I did the water change. And I was curious why these starfish decided these micro brittle, brittle starfish, I was wondering why they decided now of all times to start spawning. And, you know, a couple of people said, well, when there's a temperature change. The temperature change was only 0.5 degrees because I can track that with the apex. So I don't know that that's it. It could have just been something nice that was in the new salt water, got them all excited. Uh, I, <laughs> I really can't say. My general rule of thumb is always to match the salinity, the temperature, and the alkalinity as closely as possible. And I, I basically did. So I don't know if there was something else in the water that, you know, those elements that our reefs need and benefit from that comes from new salt water. But this was still a fun thing to observe and to film and to be able to share with you here on YouTube. This process lasted for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. And then it took a couple more hours for the water to get nice and clear again. But, uh, you know, <laughs> life does find a way, doesn't it? I am happy to report that my nitrates have come down about 30 ppm from where they were. Uh, in the meantime, since filming this, I also did another 50-gallon water change. And now I'm refilling the poly tank to the top to make another 250 gallons of water. My end goal is to get nitrates to be around 10 or 20 ppm. They uh, have been notoriously high for a very long time. I've mentioned it many, many times in my live streams. And, you know, every other element I can control, but nitrates have just been the bane of my reefing existence. And so I wanted to do what I could this year to clean that up and get it under control so that when I want to introduce something new to the tank, it doesn't struggle or suffer. So I have a couple more big water changes ahead, and I look forward to seeing that number finally come down and stay down. Here's the reef the next day. It was looking great and happy, and I hope you enjoyed this video.